How'd you do that? Whoa. <laughs> Today we're gonna to present you with some mind-blowing aspects of everyday objects that you probably didn't know about or have been using completely wrong this entire time. Oh, I see these on Twitter all the time. I've like, seen mm. one. The only one I've seen was the pineapple one. Yeah. And I was like, oh, you can pull those apart? What's the buzzer for then? Here's how this is gonna work. I'll present you both with a familiar everyday object and ask you a question related to it. I will then present you with four possible answers. Three will be incorrect, and the first person to buzz in and guess the correct use gets a point. The person with the most points wins. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna give us the options and we get to choose what's the true fact. I never was good at multiple choice in school. Then again, I was never good at free response in school, so we'll see how it goes. I would like to apologize oh, up it's front. Okay. It's okay. I tend to get a little so competitive. Should I, just, should I just let out a stream of obscenities now? Here is your first item. Okay. How? Well, then again, I've never really used these other than like at a doctor's office. These are sample cups that I ask for when I go to yogurt places. I've seen these for ketchup or like if you go get frozen Yeah, yogurt. and then I know you can separate them and pull them apart. Yeah. The question is, why did they choose the material as well as its small size and thimble-like shape? Is it A, because they are biodegradable, B, for calorie purposes, each cup is exactly one serving size, C, they actually expand and can be used for dipping bigger items. Or D, they are edible and can be chewed along with the food dipped into them. What? Try it out. Try it out. I would. I just want to examine this. I like B. B makes the most sense to me. If for a dipping sauce. She got it. C. They're expandable. These ones can expand. You can expand them and like make them larger. Oh, what? How'd you do that? Just pull it apart. Oh, what? What? Bzz, bzz. Okay, I think it's C because I've done it before with my burger. If it was like, obviously the burger's too big, right? Then I put the ketchup in and I was like. So we have to leave. <laughs> it's C. Because watch, I'll do it right now. You ever do this at In-N-Out? I do it all the time. The answer was C. When the cups are made, the paper is folded and overlapped in a way that if you unfold it enough, it carries the same amount of ketchup as two cups. I'm learning today. That's it. You don't you don't lose, you learn. Exactly. Knock on wood for that one. While we're on the topic of food, here is your next one. Oh, wait. Wonderful little food. takeout container. Oh, there's actual rice in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. it looks, I mean, almost ordinary. The question is, why does the Chinese food takeout container have such a complex design? Is it A, because they can double as a dish, saving you the trouble of having to clean one? B, they're considered works of art in some cultures? C, the metal handles can double as utensils? Or D, they uniquely keep food safer longer? I feel like D would be practical. Like, it's safe. It's <laughs> condensed in there. It's probably okay. not. Because in my mind, that's practical, but none of these things are probably going to be practical. It breaks down into this. Uh, uh, you can uh, you can unfold it and break it down into a serving dish. Think about it. Origami. Yep. I agree. <laughs> I agree, man. Do it, Sergio. It's art. I'm going to go with It's A. A. It's expansion. A. The, yeah, Making expansion. it bigger. I'm just going to. My name starts with D, so I'm gonna just choose it because of that. So I like D, that, that's a good one. A, right, because it can turn into a dish. I'm gonna say A. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my answer now. Can you repeat the A through D again? No. Oh, I, man, that's I think it's I think it's though so that you could use it as a bowl, a dish, and that you don't have to bring your own dish. Now, no more getting the sides of your hands greasy, digging into that deep takeout box. No more pouring food into unnecessary extra plates. You just unfold the takeout box sides that's down right. and get right to eating. Oh. Whoa. Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> Have you ever done this? No, but I knew it existed. Oh, I didn't. Because it's like a piece of origami. Makes sense. And then they put it folded together. I like and... that it stayed a perfect square. I'm learning, like, I'm happy, like. 
I can take this home and I can I can take something from this episode. That's lit. <laughs> what do you think is so special about this item? Oh, I don't know what the hell this is, but they all use this for like for this, for a pasta, right? I have this in my house. I'm sure everyone has it in their house. But you're never really sure what it's for. The question is, what do you think this is used for? A to create the perfect swirl of pasta on the plate. B, the fork style was designed for the difficult task of gathering the spaghetti from the pot. C, the utensil can also be used as a fork replacement. Or D, the hole in the center is a perfectly proportioned one serving size. That's a tiny serving. I know, I'll go with A, That's just a because, like, I don't know. That's a serving to someone? Oh, I thought you meant like size. B, because for a. it's also because the holes <laughs> the also after one. getting it out of the pot and then also the holes help strain any excess water. for like water, but if you're still straining it out or serving it and then putting the sauce on top of afterwards, that's why the holes there. That was quick. Um is it is it B? Uh is it A? It's for the pasta for the to hold the pasta, but what was that B? A? Oh, it's D this time. Yeah, really? I got I didn't one. Know that. <laughs> okay. D. She did it again. That's She's what that hole is for. That is a serving size of spaghetti. If you've ever struggled with how much spaghetti to put in the pot at dinner time, place only as much spaghetti as will fit in the hole. Oh, oh, when it's dry. That's a serving? When it's dry and you can just stick it through. Yeah. All right, then I feed a family yeah. of four because I'm gonna need at least that for like, my one serving. Like, but like, that's a lot of plastic. Okay. There we go. Boom. Little oh, little that's, that's, that's one serving? I feel Whoa, like that's it's wild. Kind of a yeah, it is a lot of spaghetti. Whoa, that, now my mind okay, is that's blown. That's pretty badass. Here is your next item. Yeah, yeah. So it's a can of soda. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little thirsty right now. The question is, did you know you've been drinking soda wrong this whole time? Do you know the correct way? Is it A, you're supposed to poke a hole in the side with your straw and drink it that way to minimize bubbles? B, you're supposed to use your index finger and rub the outer circle to minimize bubbles? C, you're supposed to completely remove the tab to create less wrinkles on your nose? D, you're supposed to turn the tab around once, open to insert your straw, and keep it in place. <laughs> That's hysterious. D. <laughs> turn the tab around and put your straw in. D, inserting your straw to keep it in place. That is, that correct. is correct. Yay! Yes, the answer is D. If you turn it around, you can stick a straw in it, and it holds your straw from like, you know, doing the straw thing where it goes up and down. Yeah, that's a pretty easy one, I think. D. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. You got it, you got it. Woo! The correct answer is D. You're supposed to turn the tab around once to insert your straw and keep it in place. Isn't that crazy? A straw? See, okay, and things like this, can. I don't necessarily believe. I feel like I would drink that soda so quickly, I wouldn't need the straw. I just... I'd use paper straws. Yeah, paper or, straws. Or no straws at all. Or the but, little foldable ones. But if you must use them, paper straws. So while we're talking about drinks, I got another Ooh. thing you might not know. Nice, recyclable, good stuff. Is this just an ordinary container for your favorite hot beverage? Or is it A, a portal to another planet? B, each cup is made of seeds that can be planted to grow a tree in its place? C, the lid can be overturned and used as a coaster? D, the lid can be inverted and then you can successfully overturn your cup for easy mixing of your favorite lattes? C. I'm not really a coffee person like that, but... I think it's C. You still have a hole there. But there's Wait. holes in it. I guess I'll go with C because of the whole thing. C! See, you can do mm -hmm. this, and now it's a coaster. Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> D! Uh, no! No! You played yourself! Coaster. All right, that's like a show-off thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This is this is interesting, though. Congratulations. You did good. You did good. It was a good game. It was a good game. I wish the seed thing was true. I would be pleasantly surprised if the seed thing was true. I want instruction manuals on everything now. This is why it's important for us to carry our stories down past the generations. Thanks for watching this episode of Guess That. On the React channel. Subscribe. Because we have new shows every day. Got an everyday object that will blow our minds? 
let us know in the comments. Bye, guys. Doses. Hey, guys. Sabrina here, React Channel producer. Subscribe. Hit that bell and check mark to be notified of new episodes. And while you're at it, come hang out with us in the comments. We're there for the first 30 minutes. See you there. Bye.